Uh, but Greg did catch up with Anthony Butt to get a uh, driver's viewpoint and a trainer, of course, as he is nowadays. Anthony Butt, his thoughts on the harness jewels. Anthony, I think it's universal. This is the best thing to happen in harness racing in the last 10 years, this Jules concept. Yeah, probably 50 years, Greg. No, great concept. You know, it's worked really well. Everyone's really positive about it and it really gives a buzz to the end of the season. All right, it's been reviewed by Harness Race New Zealand and uh, the major point to come out of it is the uh, introduction of five-year-olds being eligible to make it a four- and five-year-old. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, the feedback we've been getting through our association hasn't been overly great with it. Uh, the main reason being that the four-year-old's a tough year anyway. You know, there's not too many races for for them and uh, so you know they look forward to those you know the Noel Taylor Mile and Messenger and the Jewels so mate, with the five year olds now it's going to make it tougher for the four year olds and you know I just don't know if the, it's going to really get the really top five year olds anyway because they're going to be aiming towards the New Zealand Cup in the following spring and they need to have a spell at some stage of the year so you know I think the very best five year olds will be missing anyway. I applaud them for reviewing it and having a look at something like this but uh, you know one of the points to come out of it is it to retain the horses uh, in this country. Do you believe that that will happen? Well I don't really think it's going to make too much difference you know as I said the four year olds it's a hard transition from three year olds to, to cup class so you know with those four year old races is a bit of a step in the middle and everyone you know looks forward to it and names for them so yeah I, I might just shift things from you know the five year old you know the four year old year to the five year olds now so um, the four year olds you know they could just go missing a little bit. Yeah of course it's not the only race that uh, is going to add the five year olds already happened at Cambridge, Forbury Park have got it and where we are today uh, the Polaris is potentially going to become a four and five year old race as well. Yeah and I, I can applaud them for looking at you know a lot of those races have been small fields over the last few years and you know it is tough to you know you don't know what's going to happen from year to year so yeah they, they've got to be looked at and you know I think that's a good thing and you know time will tell if it's the right decision or not. What about venue wise for the Jewels? Yep we've had six runnings of it now I think each and every year we've been to Cambridge there's always been discussion about it making it 1700 because it is very difficult for horses drawn out wide off the front line there with the mile point being so close to the start point being so close to the first bend. Yeah it is Greg it's not an ideal track for mile racing and, and you could say the same about Ashburton you know it's probably the mile starts close enough to the first bend as well so yeah but you know the mile's got that mystique about it we all love racing over a mile and you know the fast times like Smolder the other day was you know fantastic when they went, went that fast time so you know but you know looking at the venues there's not too many options in the North Island and um, you know I think it's a good decision to keep it away from Auckland and Addington at the moment but I'd just like to see it you know go to places like Nelson even down south you know just as a once off even if they do it once and um, then go back to Cambridge and uh, Ashburton because it you know I think those areas would take a great lot of benefit out of it and you know the communities would really get behind it and you know it could just ease the pressure on Cambridge and, and Ashburton every year you know having to go back to the same sponsors and that kind of thing so I wouldn't like to see it at those places all the time but you know as a one off just here and there it, uh, you know might be, mightn't be a bad idea.